Well, after all of the backlash that she has received, and rightfully so, Monique has publicly apologized to D.L. Hughley and his family. Sort of. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to another episode with your host, Tabitha. Here is where we have some straightforward discussions on political and social news, television show recaps, and of course, everyone's favorite, celebrity gossip. These discussions are to simply chat about what's happening in the world around us. The intent is not to be mean or malicious, but to remain informed on the more serious topics and to just have a little fun discussing the craziness that surround our favorite celebrities. So grab yourself a drink and a snack. Sit back and relax and enjoy the conversation. Hey, my beautiful souls, welcome back to another episode. I am your host, your girl, Tabitha. I want to welcome all of my peeps from Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter. We got to talk about Monique, y'all. She had a comedy show the other night. And during that comedy show, she publicly apologized to D.L. Hughley. Kind of. Kind of. Before we get into it, let me welcome all of my new subscribers. If you come across this video and are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would love to have you. We talk celebrity gossip over here. We talk um, some of my favorite reality TV shows. Right now, that would be Love and Marriage Huntsville. I'm late with uploading uh, the new episode, but I'm going to get to it. I'll get to it. Happy Juneteenth to everyone. Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. Yes, let's get into what Monique had to say. Now, we have been watching Monique and DL go back and forth for the past few weeks on social media. It started off with what Monique presented to us as a contract dispute. But when we started digging and thinking about the situation and seeing all of the receipts being put out there from D.L. Hughley and Monique, contracts and all of the sort, most of us was like, well, girl, I don't understand what your problem is and why you taking this out on D.L. Because to me and a lot of people who thought like me thought her issue was with the promoter. Well, it escalated from that. It went from a contract dispute for the reason why Monique was going after the, after DL to whatever hurt feelings that she had about DL from some things that he said over the years. And then when that started to come out, she started attacking his wife and his daughter and using his his daughter's past um, abuse trauma. She used that to attack D.L. Hughley. And that's when Monique crossed the line. That's when people started saying, now, wait a minute, Monique, because she still had up until that point, she still had a lot of people on her side. I wasn't one of them. I haven't been on Monique's side with all of this public, vile attacking of other black people in the community, in the entertainment industry, since she got up on that stage years ago and told Oprah and Tyler to suck her dick. I haven't been on the side of Monique and I have viewed Monique as very problematic and I have understood Every reason that was out there as to why she was blackballed from the industry. But many people still roll with Monique. Many people got down in my comments still advocating for Monique. I don't give a shit. I stood in what I believed and I stand in it now. She has a problem with every black person in the industry. They all did her wrong. But Roseanne Barr. 
She came out publicly and said that was her sister. The same Roseanne Barr that said a black woman looked like the planet of the apes. The same Roseanne Barr who dressed up as Hitler putting cookies in an oven to take a dig at the Jewish community. The same Roseanne Barr who was out there on social media throughout the years saying racist-ish. The same Roseanne Barr, as a result, ended up with her show being canceled. But good old Monique came right on out, tap dancing for the white racist woman and called her her sister. So y'all can get down in the comments and advocate for Monique. I don't give a shit. I won't be one advocating for Monique. No. So she used DL's daughter past trauma to try to attack DL. And people were like, no, you've gone too far. You've gone too far. And she started to get a boatload of backlash. A boatload of backlash. And DL was not Oprah and Tyler. See, Oprah and Tyler and Lee Daniels, they didn't they didn't give her the time of day. They didn't acknowledge her nonsense. DL was not going to do that. DL responded to her in kind. He didn't go as vile as she did. But he had some things to say. Labeled her the queen of ashes. And so now she has a, a, a show. And she goes on to that stage. And she issues somewhat of an apology. Here's what she said. That was her apology. She apologized to his family and to his babies if what she said hurt their feelings. Mm -hmm. There's no if about it, Monique. That's where you went wrong. You should have simply said, I want to apologize to DL's wife and his daughter. And anyone in his family, I said some things that was out of line and I was wrong. That's it. That's it. But you put the if in there. And then you said. But everything you said about DL, you meant that Well, you were wrong, Monique. You were wrong. When you came out, it was about the contract. Had nothing to do with the contract. You used the contract to attack DL. Now it's up to DL. This ain't this apology is not for me. It ain't for you. It's for DL's wife and DL's children to accept it or not. I doubt if DL or his family will accept that apology. And all of the people that are clapping in the audience, 
No. No. She a a woman of honor, a woman of honor would have done better than that. Monique is not a woman of honor, in my opinion. Y'all let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the apology? Y'all get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. That's all I got. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you for tuning in to the conversation. Make sure you subscribe and rate the episode. And to stay connected with Tabitha, head on over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's Tabitha. And you can also follow on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All the links will be available in the more info box. Until next time, be good to yourselves and each other. And each other.